Hey champs, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over the top three categories for you to sell on, on Amazon. The top three categories that you can make a full-time income from potentially selling just one product. Also, I'm doing a free call giveaway. I'm gonna announce a winner at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. All you need to do to be entered into the free call giveaway is like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and you'll be entered into a free 15-minute phone call with me where you can ask me anything you want about your Amazon business or business in general, and I'll help you out for uh, the, the phone call. So stay tuned for the winner at the end of this episode. So if you could only pick three categories, what would they be? I'm gonna show you my top three right now. And in fact, the last one actually has a bonus item, so make sure you stay for that. We're gonna jump over to the computer right now and I'm gonna show you the first category. Okay, so the first category that I think is a great potential niche to sell on in Amazon is the home and kitchen category on Amazon, and more specifically, the home decor category. Why is that? So first of all, it's a great category to private label, okay? So when you look at items like this, like home accents, lighting, rugs, mirrors, frames, this is the type of stuff that you can put your own company name on, you know, on the box and make it your own. These are easy uh, products to private label, okay? And also people tend to spend a decent amount of money or a lot of money to decorate their home. So for example, a vase like this, it's not uncommon for people to buy a vase like this for like $50, okay? People are willing to spend good money on their home when it comes to decorating. So I think this is a great niche because A, you can private label it, and B, there's a good amount of money in there for you to actually make a good amount of profit because it's not about sales, it's about profit. And when people are willing to spend $50 on a vase for their home, and I don't think that's even uncommon, I think there's a good amount of profit to make in this category. There's so many different items you can sell that people buy around the home and they're constantly, constantly, I mean, a lot of people are just constantly redoing the accessories and the decor in their home. So I think that this is a great opportunity to sell in. The second niche to sell in that is awesome, lots and lots of money here, is the pet niche. It's, and more specifically, the pet accessories niche because you know, items like this are easy to private label. Like something like this is, you know, by View Pets. This is just something that you would get made on Alibaba. And, you know, notice they have 1,200 reviews. So you probably wouldn't want to compete against them in this exact product. But all they did was they took a product like this, got it on Alibaba, you know, put it under their own brand name, which is View Pets in this case, and they're selling it for $35. Same thing here with this item. So this is a dog travel bag. And all they did was they put it underneath their own uh, brand name and they're selling it for $40. They have 96 reviews. That's, um, you know, not too much. I mean, they're probably a somewhat new item. They're selling this for $40 and this is one of the top sellers on the search for pet accessories. And as you start searching here, you can see that all of these items are easily private labeled. I mean, something like this, private label, private label, private label. And you're not competing against a lot of really huge brands here. So, you know, all these are like like Pooch, Selfie, Doggy World, um, you know, High Like, all these things, they're not like Nike and Apple and Amazon that you're competing against. So I think this is a great niche. I mean, look at this. This is a this is a perfect private label, private label product and they're selling it for $37. There's probably a good amount of profit in there. I would say at least $10 or more. So I think the pet accessory niche is a really good niche to get into. Man, these, these dog car seat covers are really popular. I mean, I just seen like five of them here on the search for pet accessories. Now there might be a too competitive niche because again, you don't really wanna compete against a lot of products that have a thousand reviews. So you kind of want to niche down in that and that's where private, you know, product research comes into play. So if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos. I have a whole bunch of uh, other videos on product research and what to look for. So you're not competing against products that have a thousand reviews, you know, all over the search results. So look at this, this is another cool, this is a little bag and they're selling this for $46. Now I know it kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton, but it's not, and they're probably getting that made over um, on Alibaba for, 
I don't know, maybe 10 or $15. I mean, and that would leave a good 10 to $20 in profit there. So again, that's why the pet accessories niche is a perfect place to private label and to make product because people are willing to spend a lot of money uh, for their pets and it's easy to private label. So another great niche. So the third and final niche I wanna talk about is I have two different niches here in this last one. And what it is, is life events, the life events niche. So the, the two are gonna be babies, when people have a baby and when people have a wedding. So when was the last time you knew just like your local neighbor, let's just say your local neighborhood um, girlfriend that lives next to you, when was the last time she spent $10,000 or $20,000 or $50,000? You'd probably say never, but there is one time that you know, most women do that and it's for their wedding. And people are crazy about weddings. It's not uncommon for people to spend even $100,000 on their wedding. So people who don't even have a lot of money will go out and spend $10,000 on a wedding like it's nothing. So weddings and babies too, when people have a baby, not only are they having a baby shower and people are buying them gifts, Typically, fifty to hundred dollars is not uncommon for a baby shower. But grandmas and grandpas and moms all want to spend on the baby, and they want to buy them nice things. They don't want to buy them cheap things. They want to buy them nice things that they're going to have. And I think baby products and wedding accessories are two really great niches to make profit on because people are willing to spend a lot more money than normal because of these two life events. So when we look at these baby products here, um, just to search alone, I mean, Dream On Me, this is a private label product. Um, you know, this is just, you know, somebody's brand name that they created and they're selling this foam mattress here for $36. In fact, here's Dream On Me again for $33. This is literally just a mattress that they got on Alibaba. They had it made for them. They put their label on it and they're selling it for $36. There's probably a good amount of profit there as long as it's not oversized, okay? But notice they have 2,000 reviews here. So you would wanna niche down and go into the baby accessories and find a product that you can compete with that doesn't have a thousand reviews. Now these are the top sellers, these are the best sellers. So of course a lot of these are gonna have a thousand reviews, but we're just looking at this for ideas. So for example, you can see this diaper backpack bag here, it's selling for $40. Now you know there's at least $10 of profit probably in there, as long as this isn't oversized and probably the box they have, they it's not. You know, they're selling just a bag like this for $40. I mean, that is, there's gonna be a good amount of profit margin in there. So just when you look at baby accessories, now the thing is when you get into stuff like this um, with the little toys, I think that that's too competitive a niche because you're gonna be competing against VTech and like Fisher Price and stuff like that. So I don't think I would go there. The one thing I do wanna say about the baby niche is that you might need what's called a CPC or a CPSC, which is a child protection certificate. So, um, you know, I talk about this a lot in my course more in detail, but what you would need to do is you would need to set up a ghost listing on when you're actually getting, thinking about ordering the product, ordering a sample and going forward and seeing if Amazon requires a CPC from you, okay? I teach that a lot more in detail in my course, but I think that babies and weddings are a great place where people are willing to spend money. If you think about the wedding, I mean, you look at this, this is um, you know, just a little chair accessory for the actual um, wedding itself. $64, $64 here and only 48 reviews, and this is in the top page of wedding accessories. Look, $41 just for disposable plastic silverware. I mean, people buy these by the dozen. I mean, if people have two or 300 people at their wedding, do you know how many, this is just for a set of eight. They could literally buy 20 sets of these and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars just on this one product alone for their wedding. So, and both of these are private label products. I mean, this is just a product that you would get on Alibaba. You'd probably wanna differentiate it a little bit so somebody can't come and just copy your exact product. Throw your private label on there, which is in this case is Ling's Moment and start to get reviews and bam. Now, the thing I do wanna say about weddings, it's a little bit seasonal, but that's okay. There's no perfect products out there. All the products out there 
pretty much have their pros and cons, just like the baby has the CPC issue that you have to get past. Weddings are a little bit seasonal. Most weddings happen in the summertime, but they do happen all year round, especially down in the south where it's warm a lot. You'll probably have a lot more weddings down there. In the north, like up here in Ohio, not a lot of people get married in the, wet, uh, in the winter, but some people still do, fall and spring. But the summertime is the high uh, moment of, you know, where most people get married. So if we just look down here, I mean, all these are private label products. I mean, look at this, this, this little cloth here. They're selling this for almost $30 just for this little cloth. And look at this niche here, 64 reviews, 60 reviews, eight reviews. In fact, this is actually probably a really good niche right here is the wedding flowers, the artificial flowers. But again, you would want to find a, a specific couple keyword phrases, search terms on Amazon that aren't too competitive. This is ranking on page one for wedding decorations with only 64 reviews, only 60 reviews here, and only eight reviews. So if they have only have eight reviews, they haven't even been selling for long. Okay, it's time to announce the winner of the free call giveaway. So here is the winner right here. And thank you so much for your comments and support. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you leave a comment, also you'll be entered into the next free phone call giveaway. Also, I'm going to link a couple videos for you right here that uh, if you're new to the channel, you should definitely watch because the more you learn, the higher your chances of success are in this business. Thanks guys, I will see you in the next video.